Hey, what's up, guys? This is just going to be a quick video on how to set up your Android device to do your remote tune. Mine is through Greenline Engineering, who has been great for me. I've had no issues with them. They've been very uh, quick to answer all my emails and questions that I've had. And when I went to set up my tune, I could pick pretty much any time that I wanted, you know, as long as it was during their tuning hours, which was two to four, I believe. Monday through Friday. Um, so real quick, just to jump into it, you're gonna need to download a couple of apps. And I'm going to go ahead and display them on the following screen here. Uh, the Android device that you can put these on doesn't have to be a phone. So you're, you don't have to have the cellular data. It can be a, a tablet. Um, as long as it can connect to Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is working on it. All right, so after you have downloaded all these apps, you're going to want to go into your phone settings, into the permissions of each one of these apps one at a time and make sure that all the permissions are on so they can get into these apps and do the remote tuning. Okay, so after you've gone through the permissions and granted the access to all those, more than likely you're done here if you have a newer Android device. However, you want to go ahead and download the TeamViewer program on the computer and test the connection because we really don't want to be wasting the time of anybody setting up an appointment for it just not to work. So after you've downloaded it, you'll go ahead and log into the program on both the phone and the computer. You'll grab your ID number from the phone and enter it into the computer here under the control remote computer area. After that, you can go ahead and hit the connect button. You'll then go on your phone and allow the remote support. And after that, you will go ahead and click the next approval button, which should get you connected. It'll look like this. You can then test the connection by taking your mouse and trying to open up one of the apps that you see on the computer and see if it does the same thing on your phone. As you can see here, it does. So we are complete, ready for the tune. So that's the end of the process of getting it all set up. The rest of this video is just gonna be showing the actual tune itself. And unless you have more knowledge than I do, and access to get into those settings, probably pointless in watching it. But nonetheless, I'm gonna leave it up so everybody can see it. I'm also going to be making a video in the next couple days showing the results of it and a comparison of previous videos that I've shot with the videos I'll be shooting tomorrow just to show the differences in speed and acceleration and everything. All right, thanks for watching. Hello. Hello. Yes. Greenline Engineering. Yes. How you doing? Yes. Good. All right. So were you able to remote control your uh, Android device? I was. Yes. I was able to see the screen and everything. Oh. I got right. a. Had and a, you were able to open up an app? Yeah. I was able. I was able to borrow a phone from somebody else. So. All right. Great. All right. What is the quick support number? It, it is. La, 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 la. Right, you gotta
uh, go ahead and power up and power on your typewriter. Alrighty. Thank you. So I have a question while I have you. The temperature that's on the egg rider, is that for the motor or for the battery or controller? That is for your motor. Okay. And then I've noticed that it's never gone over like 19 Celsius, but I've been told to watch it and make sure it never goes over like 90 or something. Do you know the, the numbers I should be paying attention to? Yeah, it's in Celsius. So it's like, uh, honestly, 110 Celsius, 120, it'll throttle out, it'll throttle down anyway. Right? Okay, How gotcha. You get there, it has a temperature um, setting on the controller. Okay. Yeah, I guess because it's been so cold out, it hasn't gotten anywhere near there. No, it's super cold. All steel and aluminum stays really cold in winter. Is your uh, bike on right now? It is on, yes. All right, do me a favor and just turn off the uh, egg rider. Just oh. the egg rider. Okay. It's off. All right, thank you. Okay, we're gonna have to get off your Wi-Fi. Do me a favor, connect this phone to um, your phone's Wi-Fi.
Ready to render is off, right? It is off, correct. Alright, power off for bike. There's power back on. After five seconds. Okay, power off and power on. After five seconds. Yeah, now you can power it on. Are you running 60 or 72? 60 volts. Provider? It's Qi. It's the 60 volt, 59.5 amp hour. Do you know what the rated current is on that? I can find out. Okay. Uh, it says, can, is that like the continuous power rating? Amp peak? Uh, yeah, the peak. Amp peak, uh, excuse me, amp peak says 630. That's what it says for for the peak. Uh, I don't believe that, but sure. So I can find. Uh, uh, I think it's 630, 630 amps out of a pair of tiny connectors. Let me see if I can go directly. To, that was a picture. I mean, uh, if they posted that, that's ridiculous because look at your motor phase wires. Look how thick they are. Those are rated for like 600 amps. So it says uh, specs, 420 amp continuous discharge, 630 amp peak. Uh, that's uh, highly dubious. Oh, are they lying about it? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. Does the battery have two load connectors or only one load connector? Uh, let me look. It's got a... Uh, does he have two reds and two blacks? Or no. Or just one red and one black? One red, one black. That's one load. One load. And it says 105 degrees Celsius on the red one. I don't know if that tells you anything or not, but... Uh, Alright, so... I think you're good. Um, you just have to, I guess, uh... 
for a test drive. She didn't have any uh, issues going forward. Okay. All right, so that's the video. Showed you how to do the pre-tuned setup on your Android device and walked you through all the steps you need to do, as well as showed you what the tune looks like in real time. Um, I'm going to be making a video, like I said, here hopefully tomorrow if the weather clears up or the next couple days on what the difference is between the stock settings and uh, the tune version and pre-tune version. So I'll get them all set up and hopefully we'll do like a side by side comparison on that. Uh, it was pretty interesting to see or hear rather what the technician was saying about the Qi battery, Chai battery, and that he thinks that the specs were uh, exaggerated a little bit. So let me know what you guys think about that. And I appreciate you watching.